Welcome to Animation Principles in the 24th and a half century! Hi. Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to uh, do some camera moves using Storyboard Pro. Um, right now I've set up a pan, which starts kind of at one part of the drawing and then pans all the way down show the next part. Let me show you what I'm talking about and show you how to set it up. So here is Storyboard Pro and I've already drawn my image right here. It's, uh, I don't have a background. I just have the top A drawing. I drew this all just very rough um, and you can go back and actually fix this up. But as I did, what it is, I started a uh, drawing about here. And right now you can see there's a little bit of a um, line around my image that is my, what my camera sees. So it's right now in the first position, which is going to start off with this kind of introduction, introducing the, the where, every, where this, this story is happening, which is happening in the Pacific Northwest. So we're starting kind of that by showing a nice little cloud you know, clouds in the background of mountains, and then in the foreground, we've got some trees, whatever. Anyway, it's going to start here, and I have, I've drawn all this out, and I've actually kind of curved it a little bit in through here, very rough, and it's going to pan down to our heroes, which are down here. So this is going to be the beginning scene. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. And I'm just going to set up the, um, the camera move, okay? So over in your tool, uh, list of tools over here, just notice there's a little, right under the hand, there's like this thing here, and then right under that, there's like a little camera. So if you click on that, um, actually it's going to show you, let me just actually have to go back up here. Okay, so there's my camera. That's what my camera sees. So to activate your camera, you're going to turn it on like this. And you're going to pick the beginning of the camera move. So we have a camera layer up here. We're going to click that. And it says add camera keyframe at the beginning of panel. So right now I have one panel there. And I'm just going to go down and I'm going to click add a keyframe. So right now that keyframe is at the beginning of the move, which is right here. And then I'm going to go up to that camera again, and I'm going to make a camera end of the panel. Boom, like that. Now, it's put these two little dots over in this, and that's kind of your A and your B point, so beginning your, mid, your end. Now, right now it's set up into this kind of configuration at the top here three panels like that. But I can change this to this little sign. And when I do that, it pops this up. You gotta let it adjust first. Okay, let's try it one more time. We click that one. So see, now you've got this kind of end point right here. And you can move that end point. It doesn't have to stay right at the very end. Um, right now, this comes into one second. So that's going to change. I'm going to estimate that this is going to take, I want this image, the first image you see here, uh, to let the audience know where it's at. So I'm going to give that a, a good maybe three seconds. So I'm actually going to expand my, my um, shot here by just pulling it out like that. And you can go up to your panel right in here, and you can see the duration. So right now we're at 2.15. So I'm going to go, eh, maybe start it at two. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it at three. So you can also click on here and just type in three. And you can put this one at zero. And you can put this one at zero. And you click it, and it makes it longer. So I'm going to move this out so you can see. So now it says a three-second shot right there. All right, so again, I, I'm going to pan down. So I'm going to pan down maybe in about, let's try a second. Okay, so I'm going to add some more time to this. I'm just going to pull it out like that. 
And what I'm doing is I'm just looking over at my duration. You also have it in this right here. So that's the duration of the scene. So let's make it like about six seconds altogether. And you can always change this. You can always change these numbers. You're just trying to get a general idea of where everything is. And if it's too slow or too fast, you can adjust the timing. So right now we've got, it's, they both haven't really moved. So if you highlight this, this is the beginning, right? Let me pull this open so you can actually see this a little better. All right. So there, if you see, there's a blue dot right there. So I'm gonna actually pull that blue dot a little bit over this way. So we're gonna actually, like I said, we're gonna start. And as I do that, you can see it's changing. It's giving you like, there's two frame, two seconds. Oh, there's three. So we're gonna start off here about three seconds. Let me just make sure that's that three second mark. Click on it and just move it around. And you can see it says about, about three seconds right there. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna stay, we're just gonna stay here for three seconds, just to let us, admire the scenery and then we're going to actually go down to the next part so i'm going to go to my end point i'm going to move that a little bit forward and like i said if it's three seconds i'm going to call this like 415 so it's about a second and a half right there okay now set up here so i'm going to actually Click on that last button and I'm going to pull it down. Now, when I pull it down, you're going to have to kind of move this about. Um, you can actually make the background, see the whole background by going into Zoom and clicking on Alt and clicking this a few times to see how big this is. So now you can kind of use that. You can use your hand tool to kind of bring it up. And now you can see where that second thing is going, okay, that second frame. So I'm gonna click back on my little control box. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pull it all the way down here like that. And you can also go into the side here and you can pull that out that will kind of pull it out a little bit. So as it's going down, it's kind of slowly pulling out. And this is where it's gonna end. So if I watch it at speed, I can click back on my timeline like this, and I can play it up here. These things I gotta pull out so I can actually see like that. First frame here. Is that it? Okay, so it starts at three comes down and there's our friends. Okay, so I'm clicking in this area right here. When I click that little triangle at the top, it plays it. Well, if I scroll through it, you can see it's going there. As soon as it hits this mark, it slowly starts to go down. Now, if this is a very even spacing, you notice that each time it moves, it moves at the same amount. So we can add what's called an ease in and ease out. So if I click that little keyframe, I can go up into my panel. I have to open up this thing right under the duration that shows selection information. Here's an ease in and an ease out. So they're not really turned on right now. So what I'm going to do is turn those things on. And they live under tool properties. Let me bring down this so you can see. So under tool properties, we have A, right? So A is gonna to start to move out. Right now it's at zero and this is at zero. We're gonna change these numbers. So we're gonna start off here. We're gonna give this like 12, 12 uh, seconds, 12 frames, I'm sorry, 12 frames. So we're gonna click on the 12 over here. We're gonna backspace. We're gonna put one, two, that and so now we have 12 frames. So it's going to wait. Um, when I go back here, it's going to start to slowly. You notice, see how it's starting to get a little faster? So it's slowly easing out 
of this picture. It's going faster as it comes down here and it slams to a halt. It has a nice beginning and then it kind of stops. So this is what I want to do. I want to start off here. I basically just want to pull down. I want to come down to these two guys. Now, if you wanted to put a transition in here, say you want to go to the next scene. So right now, this is one panel right here. We need to put not another panel, we need a transition. So we're going to go up to, we're going to go to storyboard and we're going to go up to here where it says new and we're going to go to scene. Okay, so we're going to go a new scene. So now you can see that this scene is one scene, it only has one panel, and then this is another scene. And it immediately pops our camera way up there. Let's go down. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's think about what can we show to show the next shot after this shot here. So we see where we established there's two guys down there. Two guys are, are standing like that. So what I'm going to do is actually going to select their general information like this. Let go. I'm going to go up to Control C for copy. And then I'm going to go to my other scene that doesn't have anything. And I'm going to put paste by pushing Control D. Control. It's not Control. Sorry. I'll try it again. If I push Shift and, and here, now you see Shift holding the Shift tab and you're moving it back and forth it gets bigger it doesn't change shape at all so we're going to go into this guy this is going to be our guy we're kind of interested in all right I'll make him a little bit bigger just pulling him up like this put him about there and we'll have the other guy in there but he's he's kind of off to the side but this is our hero he's going to be so there he is, okay? So he's basically going to dissolve into this. You're going from the hand down to the long shot, and then we're going to just dissolve in between here. So that's where we have to have two different scenes. And each scene has a panel in it right now. So here's one scene, here's the other scene. If you have these two scenes selected, you can select this scene for the transition. You can see right now there's no transition right here. We have to make one. So we're gonna, we're gonna right click using our mouse button here. And now we can see we can add a transition. So we're gonna put that right there and it automatically puts this thing in between here. Now, that's your transition between one scene to the next. You can see exactly what kind of transition do you want. Do you want a dissolve? Do you want a wipe? Like an edge wipe or a clock wipe, or you want to slide out of the way. Well, I don't want that. I want to dissolve. So here's dissolve. It comes in, it dissolves, and it's a 12 frame dissolve right here. So if you want, you can actually this, you can make this one and put that zero zero. That'll be a like one second dissolve. And that's a pretty good starting point. So you can make this into a one. Frame, and it enlarges your, your transition right there. All right, so already um, it's put this in. And so now it knows that it's going to dissolve from, it's going to pan down, and then it's going to dissolve into this guy right here. So we've got that scene already. All right, let's try it again. So now we're going to hold on the storyboard. Hold on the storyboard. You gotta, there it is, new. So this is what we want. We want to duplicate selected panel. So we have that selected. We're gonna, it pops it up right next to it, right? So these two are exactly the same. So now the nice thing about this is you can alter one of them without messing up the other. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to, so I can draw this a little bit better. And I'm just gonna make him look like he's looking through his binoculars at some point.
Another thing you can do is you can actually grow it, grab certain things. As long as it's highlighted, you can just delete it. Boom, very fast. So now you can see how he's here and then he's there. And go into this. Um, now you can't do a, you cannot do a transition here between these two panels because it won't work. Um, you'd have to put this on another scene and then have this panel on one scene and this on another. Then you could have it dissolve into the, if you wanted to. Um, a lot of times when you see a character uh, with binoculars, you need to kind of add another, you add what's called like kind of like a point of view shot. So I'll even put that in. So if I go into storyboard, I'll go into new panel. It pops it up over here, gives me a new one. And this is where. So now it makes kind of sense that this guy's looking and he sees this, right? And after he sees this, he probably, you want to have another shot of him reacting to what he sees. Otherwise, you know, if you go far away from him, then you haven't created any tension. So right now we're creating some tension where we see this guy and he looks and he sees this and we want to, we want to go back to him kind of, Maybe he takes the thing off and he tells the other guy, hey, check this out. Look what I see or something. This is it. We start off, we establish where we are and have sound effects. And down, we see our two heroes. The guy looks, what does he see? He sees Bigfoot. And then he kind of comes out of it real quickly because he's surprised, like, oh my God, it's him. And this is where you might want to cut back to, you know, this guy telling the other guy something. All right. So I'm going to show you how to render this out. To do that, you go up to, you always want to save your file first. Make sure you save it. All right. And you want to go up to here and you want to go out to export. So you're exporting it as a movie. You're clicking it. It gives you a bunch of different movie choices. In this case, I'm just going to call it H264. And I'm going to make sure I put it in the right place. So right now it's going to my desktop. And uh, it's, under, it's under a different name from a previous scene. So I'm going to call it, I'm going to call this something else. I'm going to highlight this and just say, you know, Bigfoot, you know, maybe version 001, okay? And when I say zero, you don't want to use circle. You want to actually use numbers. That was letter zero or letter O. <laughs> That's what I want. So now I'm going to go down here to export, and it's going to export it. And it's putting it on my C drive on my desktop. And as soon as it's done, I'll show you what that looks like. It does take some time to do. So once it does that, it says it's been completed. You say OK. And right now it's popped it over here. And this is my movie. So I'm going to go very right to the beginning. And we'll just play it at speed. Push this button, it comes down, it dissolves. This guy looks at something. What does he see? Oh my gosh, it's Bigfoot. And then his reaction. So again, this might be a little fast, especially after you see it's Bigfoot. It goes right to this. It might be okay. It depends on what follows next. Um, just 
just kind of watch it a few times. And if it go anything goes by too fast, then just add a few more frames to that thing that you, you so it's a feeling you get as you watch it. If it gets too quickly, then just add more frames to it. It'll be it'll slow it down. If for some reason you watch it and it's watching it and watching it, still not still not getting you into it, that's because it's too long. So that's when you want to bring it back. Okay. How long should you keep that thing on the, on the screen? And a lot of people, once they get used to learning how to do that, it becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it. You just, you, you just know like, okay, that's, that's probably a three second scene. That's probably the second and a half, things like that. So anyway, good luck to you. And if uh, you have any more questions, let me know. But that's how you do a dissolve and a camera move using Storyboard Pro 7. If you have any questions or comments or anything, leave them below. And uh, if you liked it, you learned something, give us a like. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. This has been the Animation Principles in the 24th and a half century. Thank you for watching.